Hey guys, this is Madman Mars 2000 with your TNA Destination X 2009 pay-per-view results. First up, the three-on-three -three knockouts tag team match. Taylor Wilde, Roxy, and the Governor defeated the beautiful people in Madison Rain via pinfall. Finish saw Taylor Wilde pin Madison Rain with a German suplex pin. Jeff Jarrett is interviewed backstage with Mick Foley sitting on the couch. Jarrett said that tonight we'll find out where Sting really stands and that he'll call the match fair and square. Foley tells Angle he'll see him at ringside. Brutus Magnus came out to the ring to issue another open challenge and Eric Young accepted the challenge. Jesse Neal, a special guest ring announcer from the military, introduced Eric Young to the ring. Brutus Magnus defeated Eric Young via pinfall. Finish saw Brutus Magnus hit the Tormentum from the top rope to score the pinfall victory. Sheik Abdul Bashir came out unannounced. He cut a promo asking why he wasn't on the pay-per-view for tonight. Said he is tired of being a victim. He said Barack Obama talks about hope, but what hope does he have? Bashir said he is a prisoner and that he has done nothing wrong to anyone. Jim Cornette came out. Cornette said Bashir wasn't booked on the pay-per-view because he doesn't like him, nor do the fans, nor do the other wrestlers in the locker room. Cornette said his mouth has gotten him into some big trouble. Cornette calls him a jerk and tells him to get the hell out of his, out of his ring and out of the building. He then brings in Officer Jesse Neal from the U.S. Navy to the ring. Cornette tells Neal something and encourages everyone to stand up. Jesse Neal then began to sing God Bless America as Bashir left and headed to the back in disgust. Backstage, Angle talks to the main event mafia. Booker T said he has to worry about uh, AJ Styles tonight. Scott Steiner said he has to focus on an out of shape Samoan. Kevin Nash tells Angle to go out there and take care of Sting. Angle said he doesn't need the Mafia tonight. Angle said to mark his words, by the end of the night we'll find out where Sting really lies. Matt Morgan defeated Abyss in the match of 10,000 tax. Morgan and Abyss fought each other until they reached the top of the entranceway. Finish saw Matt Morgan hit the carbon footprint on Abyss, which sent Abyss flying off the en entranceway and into the bed of tax waiting below. And Morgan scores the victory over Abyss. Backstage, Booker T and Charmel try to get out of his match with AJ Styles for the Legends Championship. Cornette said that the match contract is signed and legal and the match will take place tonight. Booker and Charmel storm out of Jim Cornette's office. I'm next, uh, the win a date with ODB contest. Jeremy Borash introduced ODB. She came out with referee Rudy Charles. ODB is dressed in a blue dress. ODB has it down to three finalists. Borash then brings out the three finalists. The first guy is named Cody Diener. The second guy is Shark Boy. And the third guy is named Bernie Weber, who is dressed up in a fancy suit. ODB then asked each guy questions, a la the old dating game game show. Bernie Weber played up that he was a rich guy. ODB wanted the guys to dance in a dance-off, and each guy did so. Borash then asked the fans who ODB should pick, and the fans chanted for Shark Boy. However, ODB selected Cody Diener. Backstage, Lauren interviewed at Beer Money Incorporated. Rude said he doesn't care about how many times Team 3D has won tag team titles. Rude said that Team 3D actually had to go to Japan to get titles this time. TNA Knockouts Championship match. Awesome Kong defeated Sojourner Bolt to, via pinfall to retain the Knockouts Championship. Finish saw Awesome Kong hit the Awesome Bomb on Sojo Bolt to score the pinfall victory and retain the Knockouts Championship. Scott Steiner defeated Samoa Joe via DQ. Samoa Joe was DQ'd when he began attacking the referee, giving Scott Steiner the DQ victory. After the match, Samoa Joe went after Steiner. They fought into the crowd. He bit Steiner on the head. Samoa Joe then took Steiner outside of the impact zone. 
Backstage, Lauren interviewed AJ Styles. Styles talked about the young lions who wrestle because they love it and not because of the money, unlike the main event mafia. Legends Championship match. AJ Styles defeated Booker T via pinfall to become the new TNA Legends Champion. Finish saw AJ Styles at the Styles Clash on Booker to score the pinfall victory and become the new Legends Champion. After the match, Styles celebrated his victory by taking the Legends title belt with him into the crowd. Outside, a dirty Samoa Joe said Steiner was introduced to his nation of violence. Joe then held up a sharp object that was now bloody. Lauren wondered where Steiner was and what Samoa Joe had done to him. Samoa Joe didn't answer her and simply walked away. Off the wagon challenge for the TNA Tag Team Championships. Team 3D defeated Beer Money Incorporated via countout, so Team 3D does not get the tag titles. The match originally ended with a DQ victory for Team 3D when James Storm used a steel chair on Brother Ray. However, Jim Cornette came out and ordered that the match be restarted as a no DQ match. The match was restarted. Team 3D then hit the 3D death drop on Storm, but Rude pulled the ref out of the ring before a cover could be made. Rude then pulled a lifeless James Storm out of the ring and placed him over his shoulders. Don West then handed Rude the tag titles and Rude left with Storm taking a count out loss. After the match, an upset Team 3D leave the ring and complained to Mike Tanay. Tanay said that Team 3D was screwed. Don West said it wasn't against the rules. Brother Ray gets in Don West's face. He said that he better watch himself since he knows what happened wasn't right. TNA X Division Championship Ultimate X Match Suicide defeated Alex Shelley, Chris Sabin, Consequences Creed, and Jay Lethal to become the new X Division Champion. The finish saw Lethal, Creed, and Sabin all in the middle of the X fighting to take down the title. Suicide then jumped off the steel truss and landed right in the middle of the X, knocking Lethal, Creed, and Sabin to the ring canvas. Suicide then unhooked the title and brought it down to become the new legend or to become the new TNA X Division champion. After the match, Suicide celebrated his victory by holding up the X title. Backstage, Jeremy Borash interviewed Sting. Sting said it's all up to Angle tonight. If he wants to wrestle, they'll wrestle. If he wants to fight, they'll fight. Sting and Foley will keep it a one-on-one -on -one match and Jared is there to count the one, two, three. Up next, the main event of TNA Destination X 2009, the TNA World Heavyweight Championship match with Jeff Jarrett as the special guest referee and Mick Foley as the special enforcer. Sting defeated Kurt Angle via pinfall to retain the TNA World title. Finish saw Kurt Angle spit in Jeff Jarrett's face. Jarrett then decked Angle, which set Angle up for the Scorpion Death Drop by Sting which he hit on Angle to score the pinfall victory and retain the TNA World title. After the match, Mick Foley handed Sting the TNA World title belt as Angle was yelling at Jeff Jarrett to close the show. Those were your TNA Destination X 2009 pay-per-view results. I'm Madman Mars 2000.